now we should have now we should have a uh, microphone input oh that's overdriving the mic pretty bad give me i think that that looks like it's not overdriving the mic now hey jeff um yeah i was setting this up and then i had a issue and i had to restart obs and it's a whole ordeal this looks like it's working yep my sound's working okay, right? But, uh... Yeah, I know for a second I had no microphone because, uh, I forgot to set it up. <laughs> and I'm gonna actually move this over here to not be behind the picture of me. <clears throat> Alright, so... If I recall correctly... <laughs> It's been a while. Um, last year, I picked up a whole bunch of these power spec computers, and I remember holding on to this one. I don't know why, but I also know it does not work. And right now, I have everything. Ooh, I gotta be careful because my capture devices are right here. <laughs> and uh, so. I guess we can see what happens. <laughs> I know it didn't work. I think what happened is it worked when I looked at it in the uh, the trailer thing, and then brought it home, and it did not work after that. Um, I just turned the switch on, and there's nothing. Uh, front panel is hooked up. Who's to say whether it's hooked up properly? Um, oh, oh, is that not plugged in all the way? There we go. And it appears that nothing happens. Um, what do we have on here? This looks like a... Wait a minute. Did that... Is that fan, or did I just hit it with the cables? All right, so we have a six-pin adapter plugged in. Um, what is this thing? This looks like something being hooked to the front panel. Uh, we have hard drive, and then just wow, this uh, power supply has. Um, so I guess the easiest thing to do right now, I do have a power supply sitting under my desk, and with things basically not hooked up, I guess the easiest thing to do right now, so how are you doing today, Jeff? <laughs> what is this thing? It's hooked. Looks like it's hooked to a USB port. Uh, Wi-Fi MAC address hooked to it. Is this a Wi-Fi adapter? I've never seen a Wi-Fi adapter like this. Have you ever seen anything like that? Yeah, I... I don't know where you're at, but I'm on the East Coast, and I slept till almost 10 o'clock today. And the clock is wrong on my computer because of I haven't fixed it yet, and it's 12 something now. So, um, yeah, let's. <laughs> okay, so you're in the same time zone as me. Oh, you're in Massachusetts. I was actually in. I went to a place called Woburn, Massachusetts, in November. I actually went to Connecticut to go to. Uh, the vintage, uh, not VCF, it's, a uh, Retro World Expo, and one of my friends is in Woburn, so I said, you know what, it was like an hour, yeah, I, would, I wish I knew that, I mean, I don't, if I... If I knew that there were people there, I'm going to try to do some sort of meet, meet up. Alright, let's make sure that switch is off. Oh, you're half hour from Hartford. Oh, shoot, so I probably drove right past you. 
Okay, we got a twitch out of the uh, the CPU fan. So that's something. Yeah, the CPU fan will twitch. It it spins freely. These will spin twitch. So I'm not thinking that it's a. I don't think it's a. Um, Oh, uh, you're north of, uh, okay. North of Hartford. Western, okay. Yeah, because I had another friend that's, um... Crap, where's he at? We weren't able to meet up because he was, uh... He was still in work for... He works for the military. Uh, where is... Oh, I, I was just in the right application. <laughs> He's from one of my, uh... Yeah. Oh no, wrong Scott. He's in Brimfield. Brimfield, Massachusetts. We looked it up. It was only about 45 minutes away. But he um, he works for the military and wasn't able to be home at that time. I think the best thing we can do at this point is pull this motherboard out of the case because this case sucks and if I do uh, keep this I'm not going to keep it in this case anyway so I'm going to move this keyboard out of the way disconnect it because I have it I want to I want to look at that uh, Wi-Fi thing too if that works all right so Let's, uh, let's pull this out of here. I know you can't really see a whole lot of what I'm doing, but I'm just pulling out the couple screws. Oh, well, I'm, I'm pulling the, the uh, motherboard out of case. Oh, oh, that's what you mean by black box. Never mind. I'm sorry. Yeah, I can move that up here. I'm like what I'm like what black box and I realized you're talking about on the screen. All right. I need to find what box I, I I'm still not very unpacked. <laughs> and uh I have a really nice electronics toolkit and I don't know if it's in my storage trailer. Because uh, that red trailer that I used to do lawnmowers out of is now storage. <laughs> or if it's in a box in here. But I have I think I've looked through all my boxes. I cannot find it. Alright, so that lifts up and out. Yeah, let's disconnect this chassis fan. I wanted to leave the front panel. So the power switch is the top right. Okay. Wow, there is just a lot of crap hooked to this thing. And I'm being a little rough. I know I should probably be a little more gentle, but... Alright, so... We're gonna take... This. Now, what I want to do... I One thing I've never done is I haven't pulled the CPU fan. Let me... Get you lined up I'm also recording this so it's gonna so what I'll probably do is cut a lot of this down and then make a standalone video so I'm pulling the RAM out this is good I pulled this out of the working system it's 8 gigs of uh, DDR3 uh, Corsair Vengeance it's like really good memory and this board is allegedly compatible you know, I don't have... You know what I don't have with me? Paper towels. Ooh, you might get to see somebody. Uh, we rescued two kitties. Uh, they have come a long way. Uh, like two Fridays ago, we uh, rescued them. Somebody... Well, I don't know about rescued them, but... Uh, somebody was getting ready to move and were not able to 
take them with them. So we took them in. Man, these screws are like super long. It's weird that they they use a Cooler Master cooler instead of a uh, factory Intel cooler on these. And boy, does this thing need cleaned. That looks like some weird uh, thermal goop. I, oh, I have a, not an ideal solution, but I got a towel here. <laughs> I don't remember what this is. I remember it being like a third gen i5. This seems relatively fresh. Uh... Oh, no, this is actually a second gen. This is a 2500K. Um, I think for the purposes of what we're doing. So this is actually a second gen i5. I want to pull this out of the socket. and Ooh, the, the actual socket. Oh, no, that's, that's old uh, thermal goop. I don't see anything on the pins. And... Let me grab... Uh, I don't want to bend that... that pin. Sorry if, you, sorry if that's uh, driving the mic. Um, there's like a little... I can't really tell what it is, but there is something in this socket. And I don't want to bend the pins trying to get it out of there. stream is really mostly to test my uh, main computer because I recently had a problem. I released a video in the middle of the night last night about it. And uh, I actually did a live stream where I figured out what was wrong with it. I still can't believe it was my stupid... Uh, keyboard which happens to be a keyboard I really like <laughs> even though it's you know not a mechanical keyboard <laughs> I know it's going to look crazy but I'm not going to put I'm not going to put the cooler on I'm just going to plug it in and if I, oh, you know what? Yeah, if I don't have, the... well, I guess I'll know if the power supply comes on. I'm going to have to watch for the uh, fan on the power supply. Oh, no, I just dropped. Uh, okay, that's the, if that one goes out, we're okay still. And that is Kip you see in the background. And there's nothing. Let's uh, disconnect this. Am I turned on? Yeah, it is turned on. I'm gonna. Um, I took the battery out. And. Are you going to figure it out for me here, Kip? I actually do think this board is toast. I don't think that the actual... Uh, if it was memory, it would still come on. It just wouldn't boot. You'd get like a, you know, beep, beep, beep. Me, uh, I know this might seem crazy. I'm going to flip the BIOS uh, 
reset switch as well. Oh, wait. Oh, that's disabled by it. What? Then this one's clear CMOS. This thing's got some weird jumpers on it, I'll tell you what. I honestly do think this board is bad. I don't see any bad caps, but I ran into a lot of issues with these uh, with these computers when I was dealing with them. And yeah, there's no heat at all being generated. And. Uh, Yeah, this thing's definitely not working. Um, maybe if I, I shut that off. I need you out of my way for a second. I'm just going to kind of set this on here and plug it in. That way I can at least watch to see if the fan at least twitches at all. Like we were getting before, what can you see? You can see it. Yeah, that it just twitched. Like it wants to come on. Would be great is if I had like some experts in here. Because <laughs> this is not a. Uh, Cause it's just really weird how this act. I don't. I don't see any blown caps. I don't see. But then again, a lot of these capacitors are polymer caps, and there is almost like evidence of leakage. Uh, yeah, no. It, I mean, well, I mean, I don't know, but <laughs> it's just like. You know, uh, these things saw, it looks like these things saw, like, constant use. Because, like, the amount of dust buildup on them is absurd. Like, I blew these out with the uh, compressor. And I'm wondering. See, if I do that, I definitely can't do it all, especially in a live stream. I definitely don't have a way to stream from in there. But, um, I have an idea that I would like to try, and I must be absolutely insane because I'm going to try it on the computer I'm streaming from. I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that board, I'm going to take everything off of it that I can, and I'm going to put it in a, basically in a bathtub, <laughs> and uh, clean it. And then I'm going to see if it works after that, but I'm not really going to mess with it too much more on stream, because I don't have a whole lot of time. But I want to see what this thing is. And, uh... I believe it's a a Wi-Fi module, and I don't want to, I'm not going to switch my internet over because that's not going to work while I have OBS going, but I'm going to plug this in. You heard the, uh, the ding, ding, ding there. And it said, oh, generic Bluetooth adapter. Well, that would work, because I, I would like to, uh, it says it's up and ready. So now I can actually 
and now it shows all the Wi-Fi. Yeah. So this is actually pretty cool then. And, uh... Yeah, so I guess unless anybody's got any questions, I'm probably going to wrap this up. Um, I got in a couple things. Um, this is a... Oh, might help to... This is a soldering iron. It comes with it's their pe pencil style comes with a power adapter, and this scary looking thing is the charge port for my son's switch light, and. That is what I'm going to be trying to do. I have solder here. I got in some new solder braid so that I can pull the old stuff off the board. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of what we're going to be working on. And I'm going to walk over here. She is very, very vocal. Ah. And now she's climbing up on my shoulder. And she has jumped onto my steps. <laughs> right, Kip, come here. Say hi to the peoples. So this is Kip. They believe she's part bobcat of some sort, and she has no tail. She has a, she has a, t um, basically has a nub. Kitty, 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 kitty. But she's a. She's the one that I thought would not come around, and she was the one that was like the first to really come around. Um, so I'm actually going to take that. I should have just taken that off of there. But now she's now she's under my bed. <laughs> yeah, I don't, they say she's like a year or two old. I don't know exactly how old she is. Uh, the other one's named Olivia. Um, <laughs> I was joking around saying that. I didn't like the name Kip. I'll probably just start calling her Nubs because of the tail. But she works pretty well. Or she seems very happy. They didn't. They were very unhappy for a while. Like what was interesting was for the longest time, for like several days, I'm, I'm opening the uh, solder iron. Uh, like you'd walk up to her, she'd meow like that. But then, she'd be like hissing at you while also rubbing her head against you. <laughs> it's like, can you make up your mind? But yeah, so this is a Bluetooth wireless module. I don't know what generation of Bluetooth it is. I um, <laughs> wonder how many of those that I have at my storage unit have one. So that just plugs right into the... Uh, I'm, I'm not going to leave it hanging out on my computer like that, but I had computers still uh, all tore apart from uh, when I was working on it last night. But I can't believe that. That was the keyboard. But anyway, I think I'm going to go... I'm actually getting kind of hungry, and I have to tear apart my mom's van. I'm not doing a video on that because it's a... Uh, I started working on it and ran into an issue... I might do a after repair issue if it starts running. Otherwise, this thing's going to get turned into uh, soda cans at the junkyard down the street. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I want to thank you all for watching. Have a blessed day, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.